issues today, and I want to highlight a few uh, points uh, which are very important for the common public to know uh, and uh, try to uh, dispel all the myths which are attached to this uh, disease. Uh, firstly, I want to highlight that uh, there are certain things which you, which a uh, common uh, passerby in front of which uh, the patient gets uh, attack or seizures. Uh, what he should do and what he should not do in such a case. Uh, firstly, I will tell what he should do. Uh, firstly, uh, usually these uh, seizure attacks happen without any uh, prior uh, warning and the patient uh, invariably will have these uh, episodes. Uh, he may have uh, uh, people around him and in, the, in those cases, the uh, onlooker must uh, uh, see to it that the patient uh, should not be in a circumstance or position where the, uh, there's a chance that he will injure herself, he, uh, himself or herself. And uh, uh, all attempts should be made to uh, evacuate the patient or uh, the, uh, take the patient from uh, those circumstances in which he may fall down or get injured, especially the head injuries which can happen, uh, which can uh, further endanger his life. Secondly, uh, one should um, let the seizure to complete in its uh, entire course and uh, uh, he should uh, turn the patient to either one side or the other side. He should turn to one side so that he doesn't choke on his own uh, uh, secretions and uh, invariably choking on his own uh, uh, tongue falling back into the throat. So this is an important thing which uh, he should do. This is a, it's a very simple thing. You just have to turn the patient to one side and let the seizure uh, finish in his uh, course. He should not try to restrain the patient or try to abort the, uh, the uh, convulsive movements. Secondly, he should uh, uh, try to get help and uh, he should try to move the patient and uh, and what he should not do is uh, uh, invariably the patients, uh, the onlookers, they try to uh, in, a, in a belief that, that the patient, I mean the patient can be uh, brought into consciousness by some very uh, uh, harmful, harmful things like uh, putting fluids into the mouth or objects into the mouth. Uh, that can further, uh, uh, I mean, cause injury by other the, uh, the teeth uh, getting uh, broken or some loose teeth may go into the throat. And uh, other thing which the patient, uh, the onlookers, they do is they try to hold the arms and legs in, in the way that it can further cause injuries either to themselves or to the patient. So these are the important uh, things which only the, uh, the uh, onlooker must be careful in order to, uh, uh, in order that the patient is, uh, doesn't harm himself and uh, he's, is, uh, these are the first uh, few things you should. And uh, Caesar uh, epilepsy is a very common uh, disease. Uh, uh, one person of the whole population uh, is affected by this and this is not a disease which is contagious on the spreads. So helping a patient uh, won't uh, affect the, uh, the uh, person who is helping. Uh, it can affect him. So the common uh, myths uh, associated with uh, the epilepsy is that the people uh, 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 who tries to help the patient who gets a, a seizure attack, uh, they have a few common fears that this disease may be infectious or contagious. So uh, it's not a contagious disease, it's uh, not an infection. So the, they have the onlookers who are trying to help the patient, they should not be uh, fearful of uh, the, uh, the fact that it may transmit uh, the disease in any way. And uh, the common, these uh, do's and don'ts uh, should be followed in all cases.